Welcome to Newsbreak on Paralympic Sport TV for Day 7 in Vancouver. We begin with the action at UBC Thunderbird Arena where Norway scored on a deflected shot with just 3.6 seconds in the game to take a 2-1 win over Canada for the bronze medal. In the classification games, the Czech Republic scored in overtime to win 2-1 over Korea. The Czech Republic finishes the tournament 5th and Korea 6th. And Italy won their first Paralympic ice sledge hockey game ever and secured 7th position in their playoff against Sweden. The scoreline was 4-0, meaning Sweden would finish the tournament 8th. Friday saw the fourth of five Alpine events of the Paralympic Games, the Super G at Whistler. For the first time, it was the men who went first, starting with the visually impaired division. Miroslav Horus of Slovakia set the early pace. His teammate Jacob Karako betted that time by more than a second. France's Nicola Berez posted a winning time just 16 one hundredths of a second ahead of Krakow to deny the 19-year-old a third gold medal. The standing races went ahead of the sit skiers this time and all eyes were again on German Gerd Schonfelder. The champion didn't disappoint with a time of 1 minute 20.11 seconds. Just over a second behind was France's Vincent Gaultier-Manuel for silver and coming in for bronze was Austria's Hubert Mandel. Japan's Taki Mori set the early pace with a time of 1 minute 20.98 seconds. German Martin Braxenhaller was faster but Akira Kano followed with a dominant Super G run to win gold relegating the German to silver. His teammate Mori had to settle for bronze. <laughs> 53-year-old Austrian and defending champion Sabine Gastager was a surprise withdrawal from the women's visually impaired Super G classification. Canada's Vivian Foray was looking to add to her set of medals won so far this week she set the early pace with a time of 1 minute 37.54 seconds. But Slovakia's Henrietta Farkasova charged down the course and betted Foray's mark by a staggering 3.73 seconds. Those two were to finish in the gold and silver medal positions while Anna Kolinskova from the Czech Republic beat out American Danelle Umsted for the bronze. In the standing division, it was hard to look past Canada's Lauren Wollstonecroft, who had already won the slalom, giant slalom and downhill races this week by large margins. Germany's Andrea Rothfuss was first out of the gate and posted a time of 1 minute 32.47 seconds. That held up until Italy's Melania Corradini betted it by more than half a second. But she slipped down to silver when Wollstonecroft again destroyed the field by more than five seconds and won her fourth consecutive gold medal of these games. Seven races lined up for the women's sitting category of the Super G. Alana Nichols looked cautious at times while recording an opening mark of 1 minute 36.68 seconds, but that time looked better and better as the following races all came up short. Germany's Anna Schulfenhuber came in the closest but was still well behind. The last racer down the course was 21-year-old Austrian Claudia Lersch, who ripped up the early part of the run on her way to a golden time of 1 minute 33.89 seconds. This sent Nichols into silver and Schulfenhuber into bronze. Oh, I'm surprised. In wheelchair curling, Sweden staged a dramatic victory coming from behind to clinch its tiebreaker match against Italy 6-5.
Sweden advances to the semi-finals against Canada, with Korea and the USA playing off in the other semi-final. Italy finishes the tournament in fifth position. Stay watching Paralympic Sport TV for more news and highlights.